Hey guys, it's Mark with Music Greatness. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning The Man Who Can't Be Moved by the script. The introduction and verse sound just like this. Now let's head into the breakdown. We're in the key of A flat major. And there's going to be three main chords in this section. We're going to start on an A flat major chord. And we're only going to use the right hand for chords in this section. The left hand comes in as we move into the chorus. We're going to start with an A flat, C, and A flat in the right hand. Our second chord is an A-flat over G chord. That's a G, C, an A-flat in the right hand. Now that stretch is slightly more than an octave, so if you can't reach, don't worry, because we're not going to be playing it as a block chord. We're going to be stretching it as an arpeggio. Our final chord is a D-flat 6 chord, and it looks like this. That's D-flat, A-flat, and B-flat in the right hand. Let's take a look at the rhythm and the structure of the introduction and verse. You'll find that the intro and the verse are actually identical in structure, and so we're going to look at just one of them. Let's start by looking at the first repetition, the introduction. Our intro starts like this. So we're starting on that A flat major chord. And we're going to be playing one and two and three and four and stressing that bottom A flat. So we're going to go one and two in groups of three. We're going to group this three, three, two. What I mean by that is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And that's going to be the pattern in the right hand for the majority of this song. So, back to our beginning. We have our A flat chord going one and two and three and. And then we're going to go four and. Not playing this top A flat, simply playing bottom A flat, C. Then we're going to shift down and we're going to start playing A flat over G. One and two and three and four and. Same pattern. Then we're going to shift our whole hand up to D flat six. We're going to play one and two, and this is where it changes slightly. And three and four and. Let's see that one more time, slowed down without a count. Let's take a look at that slight change there. So we're going from our D flat six chord, and then we're gonna go, so rather than a B flat, we're stretching to play a C, then D flat, A flat. We play that pattern twice. And that's the entire introduction. If we look at the verse, you'll see that it's exactly the same. What we're doing though is we're playing that same pattern four more times. Between the introduction and the verse, we actually play it a total of five times. In this section you'll have noticed that I only played it three times, and that was just to keep it brief. When you're playing this song, you'll want to play that a total of five times, and that'll take you all the way through the introduction and the verse, and lead you straight into the chorus, which is what we're going to look at in our next section. Before that though, Let's look at the introduction and verse one more time at full speed.
that's all there is to the introduction and first verse of The Man Who Can't Be Moved. If you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to check out the rest of the song on musicgreatness.com. I've been your tutor Mark, thank you. <laughs>